Hi, I'm Brick Aramella, and today I'm going to give you seven tips for better composition in your photos. All right, so the first tip is to shoot above or below. As you can see in this photo, I took a picture of a bullfighter from way above looking down, and I leaned over a balcony and took this photo, which gives you a totally different perspective than if you were to take it right down in the bullring. All right, my second tip is to take pictures of people or things in odd numbers. For whatever reason, things look better in odd numbers rather than even numbers. As you can see in this photograph, having the five kids makes it a lot more interesting than four. But if there was six, it would be too even and too balanced. So having that odd number makes it a little uneven and adds a little more interest to the photo. The third tip is to simplify your composition. So one way to do this is to shoot with a shallow depth of field. As you can see in this photograph of Jolie the dog, uh, she is very expressive with her eyes. So I wanted to focus in on that um, rather than all the other elements in this photograph. All right, the next tip is to use the rule of thirds, also known as the golden mean. So if you divided this picture into thirds, um, both vertically and horizontally, where those intersecting points meet and along those lines are where you should put your subject or other main parts of the photograph. You can see this model is not perfectly centered. She's slightly to the side. She's about a fifth or two thirds of the way over, which it makes it more interesting. All right, my next tip is to either include the background or take a really tight picture and crop out the background. You can also get rid of the background by using a shallow depth of field. As you can see in this first photograph, I cropped way in just so you'd see the model's face. In the second photograph, I thought the environment plus how the model was posing was just as important as the model's face, so I included all of that. All right, my sixth tip is to have balance in your photograph. Kind of like waves in the ocean, it has to go up and down. The eye should go all the way around and through the photograph. So as you can see in this photograph at a baseball academy in the Dominican Republic, your eye focuses on the player with an avocado in his hands, but then it also goes to the player with wearing the SpongeBob SquarePants and then back to the other player with two cell phones in his hands. So because all three players are posed in different ways, it adds dimensionality and uniqueness to this photo where your eye travels all around it and makes it quite interesting so that the viewer spends more time looking at your photograph. My last tip is to use leading lines. As you can see in this photograph, the path of this road lead into the main subject who's walking down this road into the distance. So you can use a bridge, a fence, any type of lines or things in a row and put these in the corners of your frame and that will lead the viewer's eye all the way into your photograph and into the things that you want them to focus on. All right, you become a better photographer through practice and repetition. So go out there and practice these seven tips for better composition. When you're done and you feel comfort comfortable and uh, confident with it, I'll give you my last tip of all. Don't be afraid to break the rules. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below. Thanks for tuning in, guys.